okay? Hi, so without fail, and especially on the days that I feel like we're not rushed, those are the days that no matter how lazy and how long the day goes on, I'm most frantic and dinner is most hectic. On the busy days I prepare, I'm usually a crock pot girl because I've got more time in the morning than, a, than the afternoon, but sometimes I'll use my Instapot. I'm a big fan of both, um, but I prefer the crock pot or I prefer morning prep. But on the days that life gets hectic and I'm planning meatloaf, I learned this trick a few years ago and I wanted to share because I learned it from a meal subscription kit and it's brilliant. And then my mom, who does microwave meatloaf, um, learned it one night while she was out here. And then I was at the school playground with a friend after school. We were playing, no, we were watching our kids play. And she said, shit, I'm supposed to be making meatloaf and I don't have time for that. And I said, I've got a tip for you that I learned. So just disregard the, the cleanliness of my oven. It gets used, it's not a floor model. In the oven, I have the meatloafs, and I'm gonna open this up and release some of my heat and show you. See those meatloafs in there? Look at that. I say meatloafs because you take your two pound meatloaf and you divide it into four little meatloafs. So they're all about a half a pound each, and you get them about an inch thick, and as long and as wide as you want them, and you put them on a baking sheet. And then here, Steve's in charge of the green beans and the vegetables because I'm getting ready for this life. You throw the green beans on there, and they all cook together, and instead of cooking a meatloaf, for like an hour and 15 minutes, you cook it for 30 minutes. 350, why are we at 365? Life happens, Whoa. we bump it sometimes. Sometimes you do 370, you prepare the meatloaf however you wanna prepare your meatloaf. I like to put sauce on mine at the end, so the last five minutes of cooking, I'll put like a little barbecue sauce on it because it's delicious that way. And then everything gets cooked all at once and you cut your cook time in half. And other tip, if you've got an eight-year-old that will have a fit if you don't read to him at night, you make sure he gets his shower while dinner cooks. That's the way it goes, right? I hope that helps you. Have a great night. Thanks so much for watching The Jillian Show. It's been formatted to fit the tiniest screens. Goodbye.